Center for Disease Control just reported that obesity levels have gone up yet again. 38% of adults are obese, 17% of teenagers. Is that your fault? No, no, it's not my fault. It, I, think, I think it's our policies that are at fault there. Um, we choose to subsidize corn, wheat, soy, cotton, all the commodity crops that go into creating uh, highly processed foods. And so it's very easy to demonize someone for feeding their kids, you know, soda and chips and stuff like that. That's cheap. Well, why is it cheap? Because we're subsidizing it. We don't subsidize fruits and vegetables, or we, we do, but it, maybe of the $24 billion in subsidies, maybe 2 to 4% go to fruits and vegetables. The lion's share goes to, to commodity crops. And so that's really the problem. And so if we can make nutritious food inexpensive, I think more people will turn to nutritious foods. And so we have to have a policy that um, will support healthy foods, make healthy foods more affordable um, and more accessible. Are we dealing with record obes obesity rates? We are. And it's become really dangerous. When you look at, at uh, mission readiness, 25% um, of recruits showing up to fight in our wars are, are washing out because they're obese. If you look at the, the, the health care costs, $200 billion a year because of, of, health, of food related illnesses, whether it's obesity, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, um, these are all food related. And so, again, we're, we're subsidizing things that are making uh, our country sick. You quoted as saying, calories are cheap, nutrition is expensive. That's right. That's exactly what I'm, what I'm saying. So we have a lot of calories in this country, which will lead to obesity. People will overeat. But those calories are cheap. Nutritious calories are expensive. The problem is it tastes good. Well, I think, I think fruits and vegetables taste good, too. Uh, I, I think that um, there's a lot of reasons why people aren't cooking at home. One, there's the time that goes into it. It does take a little more time. It takes a little more time to shop for, for fruits and vegetables as opposed to going and buying just processed foods that you can slip into a microwave or a fast food that you can eat on the run. Um, and so there's a, there's a lot of reasons, but I think, um, you know, again, we, we have to as a country look at what we're eating, what we're feeding our children in schools and, and realize that if we take schools, for, for example, it, it have more nutritious food, more fruits and vegetables in the school system, the kids will learn at a very young age to eat better. If they're eating better at a young age, it'll last them their entire life. And so um, we have to educate children um, what good food is, why it's good. So I, my, my wife and I did a film called A Place to Table. It was about um, the hunger uh, crisis that we have in this country. And we were in Mississippi, and there was a teacher who was diagnosed with diabetes. And she decided that she didn't want to go on medication, and she was going to eat her her way through this. And so she decided what she started to learn, she was going to bring to the classroom. And she started teaching the kids what healthy food was about. And I think we actually need to do that as part of the curriculum, not as one teacher who has a mission. This should be part of what we teach our children in public school. We don't do a good job at that. No, we don't. We do a terrible job at it. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.